that is the last chapter of the course and i believe that you have learned a lot during this course and developed necessary skills to code desktop applications i would be thankful if you could write a comment and tell me about your experience and now back to the topic the topic of this last lecture is work with multiple forms it's very common to have more than one form in an application for example you can have an extra form to display settings or about us text or you may want to show a user agreement in a different window or on a different form data transfer between the forms is also very common different forms can share data and pass data to each other but this topic i mean data sharing between the form we will not cover in this course it's an advanced topic and there are several ways to do that we can use static classes we can use public properties and form constructor but fortunately i already have recorded lectures on data sharing between the forms so if you're interested in this topic, you want to go deeper, I will recommend three lectures which I published long time ago on my channel. So here are the lectures you need to cover, a data transfer, data transfer using the constructor method and data transfer using the static variables. The lectures are there and after taking this course, you can move further and take these three lectures. Now, coming back to the topic, when we create a WinForm application, we get a form to work with. And the default name of that form is form1. When we work with the multiple forms, then we need to give proper name to our form so that it becomes easier for us to recognize them. So form1 is our first form and this form is our main form. So now in the property window, here is the name option or the name property and we are going to change it like frm main name of the form one is frm main now let's say i want to add another form to show about us text i will right click on the project then select the add option and here i have option to add a new form to the application i can also choose new items to uh, select the form in the add new items window here we have the form control so let's select the form control and this is our about us form so we are going to name it frm about us and now add the form to the application now you can see we have two different forms in our application this is our main form and this is our about us form and here you see both the designer the name of the second form is frm about us we can confirm it here here you can see the name and the text we can change let's say the title is about us and now we will put a label control like this and we'll change the text and uh, in case of font size let's say 20 right so this is our about us form now the question is how do we show this form or how do we call this form from the main form we need an event to call or show the second form so let's first drag a button control on the form like this put it here in the property say dtn show show about us and here is the text about us now double click on the button to generate a click event and now you will learn to call the second form you will start by creating the instance of the second form or the object of the second form and the syntax is frm about the name of the object for example form about new constructor this is the first step you will always create an instance of the form you want to call or show now here comes the second step this step we will call show method to display the form and here we have two different versions we have show method and we have show dialog method both the methods will display the form but there is a significant difference show method will open the form as non-modal window that simply means user can still interact with the main form while the second form or the about us form is open 
On the other hand, show dialog method shows a modal window. And that means user must close the second form or the about us form before they can interact with the main form. Let's check both the methods one by one and learn their behavior. So on the form instance variable, I will first call the show method. Now run the program and check the output. So here we have our main form. Now I'll click on the button and here you see the second form. The second form is open as non modal window. That means I can interact. As you can see, I can interact with the main form as well. Right? And now we will call the show dialog instead of the show. And the window would be modal. Open the form and here you see, I cannot interact with the main window. To interact with the main window, I must close this second form. Now I can interact with the main window right so these are the two methods we use to display another form we can also create an interaction between the forms for example show the second form from the first form and at the same time hide the first form and then close the second form and show the first form back i think i have a tutorial on that as well if we have a tutorial on that how to open form 2 from form 1 and hide and close form 1 right now, one last thing before we wind up this lecture, where it is decided which form will be displayed first. For example, when we run this application, this main form comes first. It is actually decided in the pigram.cs file. If we go inside this file, and here you can see when the application starts, it's actually called our main form. Now, let's say you have another form which you want to call first when the application starts, so you will only update this constructor. For example, we have a form uh, about us, so we can make this form as a default form. Now you will see this form comes first. Let's run this program and check the output. Here you can see, right? The about us form is our default form now. Let's reverse the changes. So you can also decide which form to come first when the application uh, starts. So my friends, that was a lecture on working with multiple forms and it's now time to say you goodbye. I hope it has been a wonderful journey. You have learned a lot and uh, like the content. And once again, I would appreciate if you could put a comment and tell me about your experience. I will see you in some other course. Take care of you.